Take a look at that, will you? Incredible September night. The sun has set, I don't know, it's about 8, 8.15 p.m. So I was thinking, we're watching this video, we're getting ready to upload it to YouTube so y'all can see it. It just needed a little intro. The energy level was down from the start. I sprung this idea on Zach, let's do this project, let's film it. He goes, okay. The problem was him and Alyssa just got back from town that same day doing a huge supply load. Zach was a little tired, but he's a trooper. We pulled off the project. We're bringing it to you now. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. All right, we are going to take this load of scrap pieces of uh, firewood. We're gonna strap it onto our backs, bring it to a really marshy area of our hiking trail and try to make a little corduroy road. We'll see how it goes. Like a pro. I only lost two. It's not bad. Not we got to get the canoe in the water here. We'll load it up. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some pack boards, and we'll once we get to the other side of the lake, we'll strap them on our backs, and then walk a short distance to where it is. Action. That's what he said. We'll edit this part. canoe loaded. I got some cordage here so we can lash the wood to these pack boards that Zach's carrying. Some old military style uh, pack boards. We'll throw as much wood on there for each of us and uh, see how much we can handle. Doing the J-hook, because I gotta do it by myself. Here I am, filming. Zach's got all the work. We don't normally do any maintenance to the trails because they are animal trails, game trails. This one spot in particular that we're going to, it's just always marshy. You know, most people come out with good hiking shoes, uh, but it's a pain in the butt when they don't, when they got trail runners or, or Tevas. Um, we've even had people out here in loafers and, and you know, just sneakers, regular old sneakers. So, Stinking Tevas. So uh, we want to do away with the, the wet feet while you're hiking, because that's no fun. So we're going to try to put a little corduroy bridge in this one spot. So that's our, our job for today. Hopefully, we'll be back before dinner. It's about 5, 5.30, so we got to get with it which means I need to start paddling. All right, we got our pack boards strapped down tight. Firewood, firewood on my back. Who does this? It's at this point that I realize we don't have any bear protection. Oh wait, here Zach, you want? <laughs> yeah, that'll be mine. You got, no. you got plenty. Yeah, so we talk loud, carry a big stick. Isn't that what they say? I think so. It's these tiny little trips away from the house that you take for granted. Just a few hundred yards and you forget something so simple as the uh, bear protection. Sometimes we carry a firearm. On a windy evening like this, we would probably carry a firearm instead of bear spray. Sometimes we carry both. And then on a particularly special evening like this, we don't carry either because you just get lazy and uh, 
definitely an oversight. So you go like this. Can you see the little confidence, but a slight panic when you're walking through the woods like this? Um, all right, bears, coming through, bears, coming through. We're we didn't mean you no harm. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. It's not as good as bear spray, but the good part is it makes you sound like a crazy person. So it's kind of like bear deterrent and like mountain man deterrent. Uh, all right, so I know what you're all thinking. Why did we carry these things on our back when we could have snow machined them via trailer in the winter to this location and then just placed them in the summertime? You know, I had that idea. I didn't go through with it. We're gonna go and lay this little bridge here. Right on. That was uh, part of our day's work. We mowed a yard, we uh, did a little fixing on the trail, and we're gonna take our uh, sweet commuter rig back home. Hopefully we'll be, hopefully? Let's try that again. Hopefully, hopefully. Some old military style. Uh, carrying these ridiculous loads, ridiculous loads. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>